We need to do five. Today I'm in my backyard and if you guys notice I have a new toy with me so I bought this yesterday um, I got a good deal on Facebook marketplace so this is a 48 kilogram 106 pound kettlebell usually these go for like 230 to 250 dollars and that's if you pick it up and then if you add delivery charges sometimes it goes over 300 and so I was really fortunate to get this and a 50 pound kettlebell both for 235 235 Canadian dollars which I think should be around 200 US dollars so um, yeah uh, got a really good deal and uh, I mentioned in yesterday's video that uh, since I haven't been working out at a gym for a while, uh, I don't get the opportunity to tax myself with super heavy loads. It's uh, like, like although I do high reps of stuff, uh, at no point during one rep is uh, the weight too high. Um, and so by having this kettlebell at my disposal, um, I'm able to... Uh, or will be able to uh, provide heavy stimulus to uh, my body through uh, the exercises. In any case, um, uh, let's get right to the first superset. So as usual, I'm going to do supersets and trisets uh, revolving all the equipment that I have. Um, but today I'm going to put particular emphasis on the heavy kettlebell and try to incorporate it pretty much throughout the workout. So for the first set of exercises, uh, doing single arm deadlifts. So I'm going to do eight each hand, starting with the left. So while doing a single arm deadlift, uh, so this is because I've been watching a lot of David Weck. Uh, so David Weck from the Weck method, he uh, has this whole concept of coiling one side while the other hand stretched out and then vice versa. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to coil my right side while deadlifting with the left. I'm going to do that for eight. <laughs> sides Then, with my new 50 pound kettlebell, I'm going to do eight shoulder presses. Switching sides.
So yeah, just supersetting these two. Um, yeah, feels good to be lifting kind of heavy again. Um, yeah, I'm going to do this for four sets. This was set three, and then on to the next thing. So for the next set of movements, um, with the 106 pound, 48 kilogram kettlebell. Uh, we're going to do uh, offset squats. So, offset squats are rack hold squats, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to be using both hands though because uh, I don't know, trying to do it with one hand, I doesn't feel like I'm getting enough uh, support, but it is what it is. So, uh, looks like this. So first, need to clean this up. <laughs> Going to do five. As you can see, I can get it into clean position, but it's when, like, I squat that I'm not, like, there's an additional uh, thing of holding it up there that it gets exhausted before I'm able to do get done with five reps. Supersetting that with single hand 360s for 10 on each side. rep but it is what it is was my second set I'm planning on doing at least one more maybe two and then on to the next thing all right uh, so now for the next set of exercises uh, moving into some swings so starting off with uh, alternate kettlebell swings with the weight on this it's a lot harder and yeah it's quite the taxing exercise so I'm going to do single arm looks like this you know, like I have to brace myself a lot more compared to the other kettlebells. Like this one's a beast. Oh. 
good aid of that. And then with my 15 pound steel mace, I'm going to do a pattern. So I'm going to do a 360, then rotate forward, switch hands, and repeat. So yeah, oh, uh, gets the heart rate going quite a bit. Um, you know, going from heavy to light uh, keeps like, you know, like you're able to squeeze more out uh, from the superset and a little bit of, I don't necessarily think you can say yin and yang, but definitely really heavy to some light flowy stuff. Although the kettlebell swing can be considered kind of flowy. In any case, uh, yeah, heavy swings. Honestly, I've never done alternate kettlebell swings with this weight before. Like all the gyms that I've been to in the past have never had a kettlebell this heavy. Uh, although I have swung two 28 kilogram kettlebells at once, which is like uh, 56 kilograms, which is around 130 plus pounds so I guess yeah I have swung 130 pounds plus before but only with two hands uh, this is my I guess PR with swinging it with one hand but yeah um, this was my second set was it my second or third I think I don't know I'm just gonna count it as my second do two more and then on to the next thing I have one more like swing complex in mind and I don't know if I should do it but I kind of want to try flipping this at least with both hands so yeah all that I guess coming up next so for what's most likely going to be the final set of movements before I maybe move into some kettlebell juggling um, is so this uh, kettlebell complex but it's all going to be like a swing uh, and I'm also going to try and flip it in the middle so that's going to be interesting um, but yeah uh, I guess first uh, I'll do a non flip version and then I'll flip it so for the first rep I won't flip it then I'll flip it okay so, starting off with a two-handed kettlebell swing, swing squat, high pull, 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 swing, swing squat, high pull. Oh, doing five of that, I'll record one more set of this uh, afterwards and incorporate a flip, um, but we'll do that on the next set. So with the steel mace, I'm going to do five 
10 to 2. Then five single arm ten to twos. Then back to two arm ten to twos, but this time I switched the overhand. And back to ten to twos, single arm. my trajectory let me do a few more reps and get it right okay better so yeah uh, doing that I'll record one more set because I want to get a set where I flip this so let's go for that so this time every time I do a swing, I'm going to flip it instead of just doing a regular swing, two-handed flip. All right, let's see how this goes. Oh, come on. <laughs> <coughs> All right, I got this before though. Let's do that again. but still fun uh, I don't know see I'm not recommending anyone do this kind of stuff I'm having fun and I'm sharing what I would have done anyway even if the camera was off I like to have fun with things even if it's risky uh, yeah I'm not recommending flipping it you can just swing and have a great workout I just want to flip it and have fun and see if I can do it. What was I doing? Oh, yeah.
heart rate's getting to like 145, 150. And because of the heavy weight, it's kind of like staying there too. In any case, uh, yeah, I think I want to juggle for a bit. Only because like throughout the workout, I've been using a heavy kettlebell. And so I want to see like, usually like your body overcorrects a little to where it's so used to the heavy weight that like the 12 kilo, 25 pound kettlebell, which I juggle with is going to feel like extremely light. And I want to see uh, how a juggling session like that feels. All right, on to a mini juggling session. Oh yeah, feels way too light. Feels like a feather. Feels awkward almost. Ah. Yeah, it feels, I don't know, like a basketball or something. Yeah, it feels so much lighter. Feels awkward. Also, I don't know, I feel like gripping it tighter too. That's one of the things that I'm noticing with doing this. <sighs> Typically today I would have gone for jiu-jitsu, but I wanted to play with the heavy kettlebell. And so I ended up not going, but this Thursday I have to go. Like I don't want to get into a habit of making excuses for not going to class, but yeah. I really wanted to work out with the heavy kettlebell. That's it for today's video. Uh, yeah, see y'all tomorrow.